Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Trevor here. And today I'm touching on a topic that I did just the other day on Match EQ and how you can use it to get any guitar tone you want with a guitar tone that's close to what you want. But today, instead of using Logic Pro's Match EQ, we're looking at how we can do that with FabFilter Pro Q3. I believe it works exactly the same in Pro Q2. I'm going to start by going really quick on how to do it with the plugin. If you need it more in depth on what we're exactly doing, you can check out the video I put out the other day with the Logic Match EQ. And then maybe at the end, we'll compare the two algorithms and see how they match up. So we go over into Logic. I have our goal tone on this track right here. Got it looped up nice for us. And then we have my guitar tone, the match tone. Well, it will be matched right here. I'm using a free plugin, Mercurial Greed Smasher into the Fort and the Nameless Suite. And then at the end, you can see we have our Fab Pro Q. And the tone I've dialed in that's as close as I could get without EQ matching is right here. So, to get this tone to sound like this, we're going to go into Pro Q3. And the way I like to do it is to side chain our goal tone to. Uh, Pro Q3. You could also do it by putting an instance of Pro Q3 right on the track, but I'm just going to sidechain our gold tone track. And then under analyzer, you want to make sure your sidechain is selected. So now your sidechain will show up in the frequency analyzer of Fab Filter when you play it. So then also in this section, you'll see the EQ match button. Click on that. And then first, I like to go to the reference, and here you'll want to hit external side chain. So then it's looking at your side chain to use as your reference track. So then play your gold tone track. Hit the record button once you've got a pretty stable um, frequency spectrum and then it's basically taking a snapshot of that. So now we're going to do the same thing with our own tone. There we go. Hit the record button so it's paused and it's got our snapshot. You can see it's already made a shape of the difference between the two EQ curves of the two different tones. And then to get our match tone, we click match. And voila, let's hear it. Let's see how close we are. Let's listen to the original gold tone. Pretty close, pretty close. And now you'll notice there's this drag slider at the bottom to control how many um, EQ points Fab Filter's making to make this EQ change. So it defaults to, it was only a few, it wasn't, I don't remember how many it was, it wasn't that many. We crank that up to 24. And we're a lot closer. Now with this tone, it, it's not sounding very phasey and weird, but this is essentially the equivalent to Logic Pro's Match EQ's smoothing mechanism, which basically it smooths out the different EQ changes it's making to match your tone. But what's cool about Fab Filter's algorithm is you can look at each individual point that's making these changes and adjust those individually in every any way you could. You can move them, obviously, any way you could, any normal um fab filter um eq point and not only do you have the if we go back to eq match not only do you have the sliders um oh okay so i just had to edit out me getting that match tone again in the video because for some reason it's much easier to lose your match tone if you oh i forgot to click finish that's probably why i lost it but i don't that's one problem I have with Fab Filters algorithm for getting match tones. Is it's much easier to lose what you have and just need to start over. It's just a little workflow thing. So aside from changing the amount of EQ points we have that are matching our tone, another way to smooth it out to make it sound less phasey, if that's an issue you're running into, is we do have the percentage of gain scale of the actual changes. So at 100, we have what we had. It's actually more than 100, so my 
sound weird. Just to give you an idea of how of what to look for, what would sound weird. Here's 160. percent If you had a, if your tones weren't close and had to do some crazy stuff to match your tone, you'll get a weird phasey sound like this. <laughs> Now, way to combat that is to bring it down to maybe 75%. We're no longer as close as you might want to be to your goal tone. But if we bypass Fab Filter, still a lot closer. It's still making quite a big difference on your tone. How about we put that back up to 100%, keep this at the highest amount of EQ points, and let's just compare the two. See how Pro-Q3's EQ matching matches up, pun intended, to Logic Pro's match EQ. So here's Pro-Q3. <laughs> And here is Match EQ. Pro Q3. Match EQ. Here's both. I don't know why you'd ever do that. And that's what we started with. So I definitely think the Fab Filter Pro sounds a little better, but I'm not really sure. Leave a comment below which algorithm you think sounds better and which one you think has an easier workflow to understand and work with. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you want some more.